Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write a python program to find sum of numbers entered by a user so guys we are going to see how a user can enter the number so as you can see user have entered two number over here that is 10 and 20 and the sum of these numbers that is entered by the user it is equal to 30 similarly we will ask the user to enter the count of the users that is 5 in this case for example and the numbers that is entered by the user are 10 20 up to 50 and we are going to see how we can find the sum of all these numbers and we are going to print the sum of all these numbers entered by the user so guys let us move to the vs code over here so first of all let us see how the user can enter two numbers so let's say first of all we provide number one as the variable one over here and what we will do is we will ask the user to provide the number input function and we can provide the label that is enter first number so guys over here the user will provide the first number but guys by default whatever input is given by the user it is considered as the string so we need to convert this string into the integer so you can also convert it into float as well but in this case we are going to provide the integer function and then provide the entire expression that is the input inside the open and close brackets over here so guys over here this input function is taking the number as the string and then this string is being converted into the integer and the value of that integer is getting stored in number one now guys similarly we will take number two as well so over here i'll simply copy this line of code and paste this over here and we will say number two in this case and over here we will change the label to second so enter second number so similarly we will get the second number over here and then guys after taking both the numbers as the input what we can simply do is we can find the sum of both these numbers so we are going to have the print statement and we can simply have the label that is the sum of we will print both these numbers that is number one and number two using the dot format function over here so the sum of first number and then we have the second number is and then colon and then we will have the sum so guys over here we are representing the number one using the open and close curly braces then we have number two followed by sum over here so after this double quotes we can simply have dot followed by format over here we can simply provide these three arguments to the format so the first argument is number one in this case followed by we have number two and then separated by comma we have number one plus number two in this case since the third argument should be the sum so guys over here we are directly adding both the numbers that is number one and number two we can also have this expression in another variable which can be called as sum so which will be equal to sum it is equal to number one plus number two so guys over here we have just reduced the lines of code by doing the sum in this print statement itself so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see program is asking us enter first number so we are going to provide 10 as the first number and enter second number we are going to provide 20 as the second number let me press enter over here so as you can see the sum of 10 and 20 is 30 so we are getting the sum of both these numbers that are being entered by the user let me check another example we'll run this code once again so let's say we provide 50 as first number and let's say we provide 71 as the second number and when we press enter the sum of 50 and 71 is 121 so guys in this way we can easily add two numbers over here let me run this code once again so over here the first number let's say we provide 49 and then the second number let's say we provide 51 so guys what will be the sum of both these numbers you can comment below let us see whether your answer is correct or not now guys this is one way in order to add the two numbers but what if you have more than two numbers over here and you want to add let's say five numbers or ten numbers and you don't know how many numbers you need to add dynamically so what we can do is we can also ask the user to enter the count of numbers and then enter all those numbers before finding the sum in this case so guys let us move to the vs code over here basically we need to have the variable that is count of numbers so we will say count it is equal to enter count of numbers in this case followed by colon and then guys since this will be a string we are going to convert it to the integer so over here we will provide the int function as the prefix so guys over here we will get the count as the integer 
Now guys, what we can do is we can use the for loop over here. So after providing the for keyword, we can have the variable that is num in which the numbers will be stored and then we can provide n and then followed by the range function. So guys over here, range function is responsible in order to get the numbers from zero up to this count that we have already entered. So over here, what we have to provide is the parameter that is the count, which is the maximum number that the range should go to. So over here, the basic functionality is the range will give us the numbers from 0 up to count minus 1. So let's say if the user enters the number 5, so range will return the numbers from 0 to 4 in this case and one at a time those numbers will be assigned to num in this case. So basically the control flow will go inside this for loop 5 times. So inside this for loop what we have to do is we have to ask the user to the number. So over here the number that will be entered by the user will be stored in this number variable and then followed by we will have the int function inside this we will take the input. So we have the input function in this case. We can optionally have the label as well and if you don't provide any label we can simply provide those many numbers that we have provided the count of. So guys over here after taking the input we can have another variable over here outside the for loop and we will initialize the variable as 0 since this will store the sum of those numbers so sum it is equal to 0 we are going to initialize before the for loop and inside the for loop we are going to use that variable add the number that is being entered by the user over here to this sum so we can simply have sum it is equal to sum plus number in this case so guys what is happening is the first time some value is 0 so over here we have 0 in this case so when the user enters the number over here whatever number it is that number will be added to 0 and it will be stored in this sum variable. Next time when the control flow comes back again and it asks the user to enter the number, so that number will be added to the existing sum and so on at the end of the for loop we will have the sum of all the numbers inside this sum variable. Now simply what we can do is we can print this sum variable over here. So we have the print statement and then we can simply have the label that is the sum of all numbers is and then followed by colon and then we can simply provide this sum variable over here. So guys this is the python program in order to find the sum of the numbers that will be entered by the user. So let me just save this file now and try running this code. So over here let's say enter count of numbers. We provide 5 numbers over here then we are supposed to provide 5 numbers. So let's say first number is 10 and then we provide 20 and then 30. 40 and then 50. Now guys if you notice we have provided all the 5 numbers so next time the control flow will not go inside the for loop but it will come out of the for loop and it will print this statement including the sum of all these numbers. So let me press enter over here. As you can see the sum of all numbers is 150. So we are getting the sum of all these numbers that we have added one by one inside the for loop using this statement. Guys let us take another example. So let's say we run this code once again. So over here let's say we provide this time the count of numbers as 3. So we have to provide 3 numbers. So let's say first number is 50 and let's say we provide 90 over here and then let's say we provide 40 as a number. So when we press enter now since we have already provided 3 numbers we should get the sum of all these numbers over here. So once we press enter as you can see the sum of all numbers is 180 in this case. So guys this is the way that we can write the python program in order to find the sum of numbers. Please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs. Make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is python program to find square root of a number. So stay tuned.